If I added red to this blue, if I use red in, in the recipe, this is just a primary red. Now look how this changes this. You see now, let's say, let's say that we're having a sunset. And the sunset is here with ultramarine and red and we've added a little bit of it that makes the purple but we can also make pink out of that So you have a blustery sky, it's getting to be evening, so we darken it a little bit up here, darken it with ultramarine and burnt sienna. A little Naples yellow and white for the horizon as the sun is going down. All these colors that we've just used can make an absolutely wonderful, wonderful painting. I'm even going to add a little orange in here. Okay, the other point was, is that can we make purple waves? Yes. Oh, that would make such a beautiful, beautiful ocean. Ultramarine, we're using the ultramarine blue and primary red. Again, you would want to put your tails. Now the tails, because they would be close to the sun and they would be up at the top, you are not making, in this case, you're not making a white tail. You're making a glorious yellow tail. You're putting other color into it. You can put red, you can put orange. It doesn't have to be the same all the way across. No, it can be great colors. Don't be afraid. You'll say, oh, people will just look at that painting and they'll love it. And you'll know what you did. They'll say, it just looks so fascinating. It's such a glorious color. It's, it's so, it just picks up the sunset. And 
you're just having fun adding color. You know, the odd thing is, people won't know why they like it. They won't be able to see the color. They'll know that it's just emotional, and they like it. They can't figure out why, but it seems that the ocean's alive. Well, yeah, yeah, because you used all of these simple colors. After the wave is done, while you're still using the white, that you've added. Remember I pointed out that in the very beginning we had a dark blue and a red with some white and then we add additional white. So when you add additional white that becomes the color of the wave. It is never ever straight white. Just keep that in mind. Now also the little touches of color that you so wonderfully put in the, in the sky can be carried forward into some of these waves because any wave, even out in the ocean, that is um, part of that, it's anywhere the water is flat, that's where it's reflecting the sky and particularly after sunset. You know, there's the sunset and one fellow that I was with one time um, I said, well, let's go. And he said, no, 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 we want to see the afterglow. And I said, what are you talking about? And he said, well, after the sun sets in approximately 10 to 15 minutes, the entire sky will light up with color because it's the reflection of the back of Earth that's coming up over and it makes the last sunset even more beautiful than when the sun went down. So then you can see all the colors coming across the sky and across the, even the waves. So any of that reflection um, you want to have in there and that's really beautiful. It's a wonderful time to paint out in the open. Now don't forget that you would still have a little bit of dark here and there among your white, but now you can use your white little Z's as I've talked about coming into shore and that is just the webbing. If you want to make real complicated webbing, you can use a smaller brush. But basically, as it comes into shore, remember that when it comes to shore, we're going to have that little line at the end as it comes into shore. Just before we have the sand and the wet sand first is what? Lighter or darker? It is darker because it's wet. Took me a long time to figure that one out. But that's darker. And then it's lighter. As you get into the into the beach. Uh, one last thing. If you are a very realistic, idealistic painter and you have to make sure your brush is clean between every single, every single shade, then more power to you. However, we've done all this painting and if you can see my water, it is still clear. Here's to you. See you next time.